This is the story of the craziest thing that's happened in our apartment since we've moved here. Well, next to our apartment. Just as a little spoiler, this happened today. This morning, Jake and I were sitting on the couch. It was like mid-morning, let's say like 10 o'clock. And we start hearing commotion outside. And I see this man like pacing in front of our apartment. We kind of thought nothing of it because people are walking by our apartment all the time. But then we started hearing commotion outside, like someone yelling and they weren't like really like yelling, yelling. They didn't sound angry. We just heard commotion. I look outside and this man is walking by our window and he has his head in his hands and he's just going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And he started mumbling things and I didn't know what he was saying. And at first I thought he was hurt. But then I really thought something was wrong. Like I thought he was hurt. So I went and put on my shoes and I went to go walk outside. But when I like peeked my head outside, he was on the phone with someone. So I was like, okay, he's getting help. Like whatever's happening, he has help. Now my boyfriend and I are no Z with a capital N. So we open the window and try to figure out like what he's saying on the phone, but we can't figure it out. But like five minutes later, not even a cop shows up. So he called 911, but we couldn't hear why he called 911. So the cops show up and all we hear is the guy like go up to the cop and he's saying, I don't know what happened. My job called me over and blah, 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 blah. And we couldn't hear the blah, 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 blah. And we were like left on a cliff. Keep in mind, this is all happening right outside our window. Like this lighting I'm getting right now is my window. This is happening on our front lawn. Like that's why we were being so nosy because the cop and this guy were standing talking on our front lawn. Right after the guy tells the cop whatever happened, the cop calls him back up. And two minutes later, another patrol car comes up and then another patrol car comes up and then another patrol car comes up. So now there's three patrol cars right in front of our apartment. Then one of those, like it's not a patrol car, it's a sedan, like a black sedan cop car pulls up. And then an unmarked black sedan cop car pulls up and that's when we knew like something was going on and then ambulance showed up and a paramedic showed up what was weird to us is when the ambulance showed up there was no sense of urgency they didn't run out of the ambulance they didn't run inside to help whatever was going on and at that point we were kind of like this might be really sad like it might be a dead body and like, that's why they're not rushing. I always thought that if there was a dead body, they would still get taken away in the ambulance. And the ambulance left five, 10 minutes after they got there and they didn't take any body out. So we were like, okay, maybe it's not a dead body because the ambulance left after doing nothing and nobody came out of the apartment, which is very morbid to say, but it's honest, but all the cops were still there and everyone was still talking. So like we knew something was happening. We just didn't know what it was. And now we're thinking like, what if it was a burglary? Like what if someone broke in? All of the cops were probably there for an hour or two. And then one by one, they all started leaving. Two patrol cars ended up staying, but those two cops were here for hours. This started around 10 a.m. Those two cops were here until 3.30 p.m. And then randomly those cops started leaving. Someone, someone showed up to the apartment, talked to the cops, and then the cops left. And that was it. What just happened? Like literally what just happened? And then a minivan shows up. We thought nothing of this because we were like, it's a minivan. And then my boyfriend was outside and he comes running in and he's like, Zoe, you have to come see this. The minivan had a gurney inside of it. And probably 30 seconds after my boyfriend told me to come see, they did end up rolling out a dead body out of the apartment on a gurney and putting it in the back of the minivan. Number one, this is extremely sad, period. In the back of a minivan?
I need someone to explain that to me. I don't understand that at all. I thought when you die, if a dead body's found, it gets taken away in the ambulance and it gets taken to wherever it needs to be taken to. A minivan, I guess it was the coroner. So after the, all the cops left, like after everyone left, a minivan with two guys in it pulls up, goes in to the apartment, comes out with a dead body on a gurney and puts it in the back of the minivan. I guess that's just one of those life things where I didn't know things were done that way, but that was freaking weird to me. And we think the original guy who was like panicking outside, we think he, they like worked together or something and like maybe he didn't show up for work and I don't know, but that was very sad because, you know, this guy's just like going about his day and he walks into his friend's apartment or his coworkers or apartment or his family member's apartment and he finds them dead in the apartment. That's, that's very sad. And that was my first time seeing a dead body. That was one of the craziest things that's ever happened at this apartment while we've lived here.